Hi, welcome to another video with me, Daniel from Automation Pill. And in this video, I'll discuss about the two array and two list. When we're gonna convert a link expression to an array or to a list. By the way, I do have an entire playlist with link and a full course. Check out the description video below. Now let's see how we can use to list, to array and to dictionary. Now, despite the effect that we're gonna fix the lazy evaluation, they are changing the type from here. And in order to make it clear, let's have a look to the diagram before. So we have the enumerable in the middle and the list it's linked with the enumerable. Also the dictionary it's linked. However, these two, they are not linked. Uh, here we could put um, the two array, the array also linked with the enumerable. Now the point here is uh, that enumerable has a common part between these two. That's the reason if you have a variable of type list, you can use the method for the enumerable itself and for the dictionary is the same. However, when you're using two list and two dictionary, you are creating an actual list. But using our method, we are converting to the enumerable. So let me show you what I mean by that. I'm gonna have this variable to list, but instead of using the enumerable data row, I'm gonna use instead of an actual list or let's use the array first. I'm going to use the array, array of data row. So if I'm having this assigned like it is, I'm having a conversion error because it cannot convert from the enumerable to to array. Now, how you can do that? Well, you're going to add to array. Hit OK. And we're going to get rid of this problem. And now our list, it is a data row. So um, I'm going to have another variable, which means I'll do uh, enumerable. And for this example, I will use the enumerable of data row. I'm going to maximize here the scope just to see it, uh, the actual type. If I'm gonna put an assign here, I can create the enumerable from a list, which by the way, it's not a list, it's an array. I'm gonna just rename here. So array. So this is the array. I can create an enumerable for from an array, but I cannot do the other way around other without using explicitly this two array. Okay, so that's the common part which I, I, I wanted to show you. You have in an array of enumerable and that's the reason uh, this conversion succeed. So enumerable, it's a common part from the array and is the same valid for the list. If I'm gonna just go back here, changed from the two array to list, uh, to list, now, uh, this one doesn't work because it cannot convert uh, an array to a list. I'm going to just rename this variable list type. And despite having a rename, also the variable type, I need to change it. So I go here, browse for type. I'm looking for lists and I'm going to use the one from system collection dot uh, list generic that list sorry. So that should be from here. I think you can use system collections, generic dot list and to the element I'm gonna put data row and hit okay. So now our conversion, it will succeed because uh, the list, by the way, I have selected I list and not list, uh, but it will work the same for list also. So list, uh, it's a collection here and also the enumerable, it can be converted to, uh, the list can be converted to enumerable. And it's the same thing. The reason is because enumerable has something in common with a list also. So it has something in common with an array and with a list. Great. Now there is a disadvantage of using uh, the variable enumerable and list because list has other methods. And to show you, I'm gonna put another sign here. And by the way, 
uh, that's the reason for the um, array also. So I'm having list type dot and I can use the add, which I cannot add in the enumerable. I don't have this function and I can have the clear. I can erase all the elements from the list. Uh, I can see the count. Now I can see the count from the enumerable also, but not direct, but using uh, this count also. And I'm going to tell you in a minute uh, what's the difference between these two. So there are additional properties that every element, every data type has. Now to better understand the collections, I have drawn this diagram where I have the list, dictionary and the array. Now inside of the list, there is an enumerable also. Inside of dictionary, there are, are the functions for the enumerable itself. And the same thing applies to array. Uh, there are other additional functions which are specifically to list, as we have seen the odd, uh, the add, the clear, and to the array itself. Great. Now between to list and to array, they are working the same. I recommend to use to list because there is a small performance penalty in using to array. However, that's less significant, but I recommend to use the to list. And besides the difference between the variable type here, as long as you are going to use with enumerable, by the way, this is the enumerable, which is declared variable type, but inside it not contains an enumerable. It contains something specifically, which can be a list or an array. Now, besides this difference of what is inside a list and array, there's not too many differences between these two. However, there is a difference between of using to dictionary and how do you create this? And I'm going to explain how you can do that in the next video. Thanks. And that was for today. And by the way, if you do have some question about link, drop a comment in the YouTube section, I'm going to try to reply. And if it's a complex topic, maybe that would be the next video topic. And don't hesitate to press that like button. In this way, you will indicate to YouTube that this is a great content so others can see it as well. Well, thanks for today. I'm Daniel and until the next time, see you soon. Bye.